Okay, so hey, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the QGSI or Android QGSI on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, this is the most simplest method I could find. Let me show you. First of all, you need to go to this Telegram channel or the group and over here just go to the pinned message over here and you will see this guide for flashing the like dp4 or developer preview 4 for android q or android 10 well earlier the methods were like pretty complicated so i did not make a video but right now there is simple one zip process now so just tap over here then you will find the process over here so first things first you need pi firmware to like flash this dp4 so if you do not have pi firmware and pi firmware twrp just follow this video from this card over here you will find that how to flash the pi firmware and how to flash the pi firmware supported twrp well you can use the twrp linked over here too so here is the instructions for people already on pi firmware and pi twrp it's written over here that first flash the miui 10 stable pi firmware then the second thing is flash the like zip file the pixel wire 10 dp4-0 over here is mentioned but just flash the latest one which is the wire 10 dp4-4 that is the latest one i could find so where are the download links you may ask so here in the bottom is the download links and we have this like uh, the stable pi firmware over here and over here of course we have the google drive link for the dp4 or developer preview or the actual rom file so for this let me show you which things i have downloaded so here are the three files well here it's mentioned that you should use this recommended tbrp recovery which is the like pi formatted tbrp recovery but i'm going to use the 331-0 i think and i'll see what happens that is the pi format supported tbrp recovery too and over here this is the like firmware zip file fw it says over here let me show you the information as you can see this is the firmware the pi firmware of course and over here this is the developer preview rom file it says pixel wired 10 dp4-4.zip and it's about one and a half gb so right now what we are gonna do we are gonna just like go to recovery the developer recovery but before doing anything make sure you back up everything from your phone to your pc just to be safe now let's boot back to recovery now so here as you can see the recovery version i have over here is 3.3.1 slash 1 now first thing we need to do is just go to wipe then advanced wipe now select dalby cache data system and vendor these five things and just swipe to wipe so once you have done that go to install now go to the queue like folder wherever you is it at on your device where you have downloaded the files of course now the first thing you need to flash is the firmware i'll just uncheck this reboot after installation so once you've selected that then add more zip then tap on this like pixel wired 10 dp4-4 and just swipe to confirm it takes quite a lot of time i think so just hold on so right now it says successful and right now let's just reboot the system it says no os installed are you sure you wish to reboot i'll just swipe to reboot and see what happens here we have successfully booted into the google animation the boot animation of course now give it some time to load now it shows me error that there is an internal problem with your device contact your manufacturer for details just tap ok and like tap on this close app and click ok afterwards and here the messaging app like keep stopping it says just close that app so yes i am like noticing pretty much some four stops over here i'll just four stop it normally so the ui experience i would say it is pretty laggy it's not quite like 60 fps experience it is pretty laggy over here as you can see now let me just go into the settings 
and let's go over here this is how the settings panel looks like pretty cool and it looks quite like android pie but there are some things the icons are a little bit different over here let's go to about phone and if i go android version here it shows android 10 now let's tap on this over here it still shows pi i don't know why but yeah it still shows the p animation over here the easter egg and the security patch is latest june 5th 2019 here is the baseband version and the stock kernel over here some kind of die d version 0.7 plus so i did not need to like enter my google id or something like that it's just like straight up booted into the system so i think i have to set up the rom now there is no stock camera app or something like that over here that i am seeing over here no camera apps pre-installed over here and nothing like fm ready or something like that i would say this is just like pure stock android with a very limited amount of apps so if you enable the battery server as you can see we get the dark mode over here and if you go into the settings everything will be dark like this let me just disable the battery server again if you go into the settings i think the like rom becomes really smooth over here but whenever you are in the home screen everything becomes a little bit laggy because as you can see we have the live wallpaper over here if you're like noticing this I think it's because of that live wallpaper i'll just change it in a moment and see if it like fixes it so right now i think it, it was the problem with the live wallpaper otherwise as you can see the rom is fast and smooth i would say as you can see it is handling everything like pretty fine now i would say and if you go into the system and if you go into gestures we have the system navigation we have the two button navigation three button navigation and full gesture navigation let me just like put it to full gesture navigation and as you can see we have the like android q gestures too over here and it shows the recent panel just like this i don't know how it goes back all right so this is how it goes back as you can see and it does this cool animation too over here whenever you're going back really really cool i would say and you can also check for system updates i don't think it will actually work but i don't know it may work actually here as you can see we have the system updater let me go back and if i go into the display settings we have the night light option does it work yes it does work and we have the dark theme too over here as you can see normally you can enable it from the display settings and we also have the display size lock screen display and stuff like that we can change the like lock screen notification and stuff like that from here and we have the now playing new notification etc options Double tap to wake is there too. Let me check if it actually works. So as you can see, the double tap to wake actually works over here. And let me just place a call via Vaulty. Nope, calls does not work. Let's check out the other settings. Let's go to sound settings. We have the vibrate for calls option. So calls are not really working. So that option like makes it really like useless. But we hope that the Android Q ROMs will get like better and better in the future. And here is how the volume panel looks like. As you can see, you can put the phone into vibrate or silent like this. And if you tap on the settings, this is how it appears. The volume panel over here and the messaging app again keeps stopping. And this is how the apps and notification settings looks like. As you can see, it looks really dope and we can see all the apps from here the animations i would say is really really good over here we have the privacy settings i don't know what it does actually but yeah we have it we have the permission manager and stuff like that and the security i think this privacy settings was inside the security earlier if you go inside the security we have pixel imprint so this is the fingerprint scanner option let me just like put a pin and like try to get a fingerprint option over here the fingerprint scanner is working fine i think over here as you can see i can add my fingerprint over here and it shows and as you can see boom it unlocks
sometimes it does not like recognize my fingerprint but yeah sometimes it does work super fine as you can see the unlocking speed is really really good and you have to just like if you you can just go to home or like if you are in an app let me show you that like if you are in this app over here you can just swipe up like this it will just go home then you can just swipe up and hold to get to the like recent spanner like me why just just pretty much so that is how i can say and it even works from the left side too as you can see and also we can switch between apps just like this as we used to do with uh, like one plus oxygen os and over here as you can see you can just switch between apps sometimes it does not work but sometimes like most of the time it does work like this and as you can see it switches between apps just like this and you can just do this to like switch between apps i think as you can see this is really really fast so also you can like scan qr codes i think from this icon for like connecting to wi-fi and as you can see wi-fi has connected successfully so as you can see the wi-fi is working fine now i think mobile data is not turning on for some reason but yeah you have to figure these things out like later on but mobile data is not turning on right now i would say and the flashlight and stuff is working fine too as you can see so the camera should be working fine too and i would say that please share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about the android q gsi and how to flash it on the redmi note 5 pro with the easiest method right now this is not ready to use it like as a daily driver pretty much so let me know what do you guys think about this android q gsi and the installation method i would say this is pretty simplistic and like pretty usable if you are really in a need to flash the android q and test it out on your redmi note 5 pro so this is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now